Hello again everyone on YouTube. Uh, this is a prop video on uh, the DJI Phantom and this is strictly DJI props. I don't like using other brand props because who knows what the quality controls is. Who knows if it's balanced. Who knows how it's made and what it's made of and what the quality really is. So, <clears throat> Friday I was flying, uh, I was out at 5 o'clock in the morning, actually about 5.30, and I was flying around, I was inside a vehicle to stay warm, and all, it, it had gotten on top of the vehicle, above me, above my head, so I couldn't see it. It was, I'd have to be able to see through the roof of the vehicle. And uh, I was parked somewhere where with the building right in front of me. Well, the building, it has a sloped surface, it has tiles. Everybody knows that tiles are basically like an extremely coarse sandpaper. Well, I had hit it, but I quickly pulled back so it didn't crash, and I was I was happy it didn't crash. I got home and noticed one of my props was chipped, and I was thinking, oh shit, what do I do? I either have to order some new props or drive 100 miles to the local hobby place and buy some. First thing I did was I got on Amazon, looked around, and I found uh, a, two sets of uh, 9443 props for 20 dollars and some odd cents. A lot of reviewers said that it was the OXOXO propellers, which everybody knows uh, there's been a lot of problems with those. They're counterfeit. Uh, then other people said they were exactly what they ordered. Uh, but let's just go through the propellers real quick with the DJI F FC40 all the way up to my luck of the draw. I guess I was extremely lucky from the place I ordered from. And I ordered just 9443 regular props. I ended up getting the 9450 thrust boosted. And if you don't believe me... Says it right there on there. 9450 thrust boosted. And you can actually notice on the blade, it's a little more curved and it has a little bit more. This part right here comes out a little bit further, so it grabs the air a little more. And they one of the biggest things you will notice is see this one? This is a 9443 flex. This is a 9450, and I'm putting about the same amount. It does not flex, so that's another thing you don't have to worry about while flying. You don't have to worry about your blades flexing. I will say this, since it does improve the thrust, uh, I was able to calibrate mine, and out with 9443s, I was getting 14, 15 minutes. With uh, the 9450s, uh, a battery that I had charged to about 98, 99%, I got I got uh, 13 minutes of flight. But that 13 minutes of flight was more stable than the 9443s ever were because you don't have this flexing going on. As you see, these do not they flex a little, but they flex like those really thin carbon fibers and why would you want carbon fiber because as soon as it hits something it's going to shatter into a million pieces like a piece of glass and then you're going to have I mean if you're around people they could get it in them and carbon fiber is not a fun thing to get inside you it's like fiberglass but worse in my opinion but that's basically it when it comes to this uh I have my 9443s and I even have the old uh, 80, 8045s. This is what actually came on it. And uh, I wanted more flight time. I was getting maybe five to six minutes and that was before the onboard computer was calibrated to my battery. And uh, I actually took out some weight from inside by shaving away some things that don't need to be there. And I can also fit a 4,000 milliamp, you can see, I can actually fit a 4,000 milliamp battery in there from Multistar. 
So uh, the biggest thing I I want to say if if you want more flight time, you got to get better propellers. I mean, between the ninety the eighty eight zero four five and the ninety four forty three, there's the difference. You can clearly see more surface area, more surface area. It's gonna grab more air. It's gonna work better. The engines. And one thing I noticed with this, since it's increased thrust, the, bat the engines didn't have to work as hard. So, and I'll put these side by side. These are both uh, counterclockwise spinning with silver tip. The 9443 is on the left. The thrust boosted is on the right. Well, on for you, it's uh, your left is the 9450, your right is the 9443, 9443, 9450. So, I mean, you can clearly see, I mean, there is some, there's quite a bit of difference, especially when it comes to how much it cuts. It just simply cuts into the air and there's even more surface area. So even though, yes, it may give me a minute less flight time how stable it is and there I'm not joking there's absolutely no vibration I got it up in the air and one thing I've learned is from a lot of people is once you get it in the air fill the motor mount at each motor with these there is some vibration with these I was absolutely amazed so if you really want some good props for your Phantom I'm running an FC40 because I'm not about to spend $150 per battery when I can hollow out the inside and fit in a 5,000 milliamp, no, a 4,000 milliamp uh, Multistar or a, what was the other one? Some people are running uh, two, uh, this one I can actually put two 22, I can take two of these. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't have the parallel plug with me, but I can actually fit both of these in here. It's a, lit, it's a bit, bit snug, but they will both fit. As you can see, it's, they're already in there somewhat, but this wire has to go up in here and there's all kind of stuff that I have to do to be able to close the door back. And for those that might think that it won't shut, all you need is this upper part. That bottom part is just going to get in your way. So. And it shut, and it actually shuts tighter without that framework being there. But you have to be careful doing this. I did it with a uh, hand file. If you're doing it with a hand file, uh, you don't have to be as careful. But if you're using anything that is done with air, please remove the computer boards. Because if you hit one of those computer boards, you're not flying until you get new one, a new one. Uh, thankfully, with the Phantom, the most expensive part is the Phantom itself. Thankfully, DJI doesn't jab us for parts, but I have what's called an AR Drone 2.0, and motors for a Phantom, $26 if you blow one. Motors for an AR Drone, $50. And that's because they're so small, and the ESC and motor is all built into one, and it's just... With this, you don't have to replace the ESC and motor together. All you got to do is replace the motor. But I always recommend replacing both because if your motor went bad, chances are your ESC is going to go bad pretty soon also. Well, that's it for this video. So until this time, next time, peace.